All right, this time we are going to look at how to take your Google site, which is created inside your school domain. And let's say you're changing schools, you're moving to a different city, or you're graduating. How do you keep all that great work in your Google site and move it to your own personal site? That's what we're gonna take a look at. So let's head over to your Google site here. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the person, the share button at the top, and I'm gonna add my personal Gmail address. And so I'm just going to make me an editor. I'm going to click share. It'll say, ooh, warning, this person isn't in our domain. Share anyways. So now when I come back and click on that share icon again, I could, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to say transfer ownership. Now, here's the problem. When I do this to my Gmail, uh, our school domains are very protective and it says um, you might lose access. When I press yes, it says you can't transfer ownership from a school domain to a personal Gmail. So that won't work, but the process is gonna be similar and we're gonna do that with some other steps. So we've shared that with my personal Gmail. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my personal Gmail account. On your Chromebooks, you might not be able to do this particular step on your Chromebook without logging out. You can't change between accounts. So what I would recommend on your Chromebook is sign right out and then when you go back to sign in, you want to choose browse as a guest. And then when you do browse as a guest, you'll want to search for Google. So go, just go to google.com and then you'll want to sign in in the top right corner so that your other Google icon is showing. So this is the other Cami, my other Mrs. Kanikins right here. So now what I want to do is I want to come into my Google Drive. I don't want to go to the Gmail where it might have sent me a notification. I want to go to, to my portfolio. I'm going to type in Mrs. K portfolio. Okay. So try Mrs. K. Now what I can do is I can come up to these little sliders and I can say, I want to have anything that's a site and I'm going to go search, try recent. Okay. So now there it is. Mrs. K's portfolio. Not sure why that didn't show up in my search, but here it is. So recent worked I'm Going to double click on that and open it up in here. Now in Google sites, I can come and I'm still only the editor. So what I'm going to do over here now is under the three dots, I'm going to go make a copy and I'm going to leave this one, say copy of Mrs. Kanikin's portfolio right here. I'm going to change that later on, but I'm going to keep it that way. So I know which one's which. Uh, it's just going to sit in my drive. I want the entire site and I'm going to click OK. You can see in this tab at the top, it says copy of Mrs. K portfolio. And this one just says Mrs. K portfolio. When I come over to the copy, when I click on the share settings, you see it's just the new Cami, uh, the Gmail Cami, who is the owner. And so now my site is in my Gmail and I'm the owner. Now, what you have to know now is that this is an entirely different site. So if I make changes back in my Prairie Rose account or my school account, those will not reflect on my brand new Gmail account, but I have two separate ones. All the work that I did on my whole portfolio is now safely in my Gmail and I can continue to work on it from here. You will note that you will have to publish again. So I'm going to click publish. It's uh, called Mrs. K portfolio over here as well. And now when I get the link, I'm going to go copy publish link. You'll notice that the website link is different. It just says sites.google.com. It doesn't have the PRRD eight part. So the web address will be new as well. You've just transferred your site.